Many domains nowadays try to gain insight in complex systems by logging their behavior and events. The result is often a large collection of low-level event sequences in which analysts need to find patterns. The wide variety in event properties and sequences, however, makes the discovery of these patterns difficult. In this video, we present EventPad, a novel exploration method for analysts to explore multivariate event sequence collections using rules, aggregations, and selections. The EventPad prototype consists of five components. The sequence view shows an overview of all traces in the data as sequences of glyphs. Initially, every glyph corresponds to one event with one or more attributes. Traces in the dataset represent phone conversations that are plotted on separate lines. The size of the glyphs can be adjusted to inspect more sequences simultaneously. To gain insight in the data, users can visual encode and simplify sequences using rules. To highlight all conversation invites, we first select the wildcard glyph. Double-clicking a glyph results in a textual interface where users can add attribute constraints to the corresponding glyph. Now only glyphs with invites apply to the rule. Match settings indicate whether these constraints should adhere to all or at least one event in the glyph. For the right-hand side of a rule, a custom glyph can be designed using a separate interface. Let's create another rule where we also highlight the acceptance of a phone invite. The rule overview widget shows the effect of every rule in an icicle plot. This reveals that only 16% of the current glyphs were affected by the last two rules. The rule view shows a list of the rules that are currently applied in the system. More complex rules can be constructed using previously defined glyphs and different regex operators. The following rule enables us to compress all invite messages that are eventually accepted by the recipient in a new glyph. The pop-up in the upper right corner shows that this glyph consists of four events. Rules can be toggled on or off in the rule view to study their effect. In addition, users can switch between longest and shortest matching. Now we see that the first invite and the last arc of a sequence are matched in one glyph. In the situation where events apply to multiple rules at the same time, corresponding glyphs are stacked on top of each other. This is also referred to as multi-matching. This now reveals that some ACK messages are also coming from the Netherlands. The ordering of stacking depends on the ordering in which the rules are applied. Rule orderings can be adjusted through drag and drop operations in the rule view. Users can search for particular patterns using a search interface. The pipette tool can be used to copy paste glyphs directly from the sequence view. Now only ACK messages that are coming from the Netherlands are selected. Users can disable multi-matching, in which case only the topmost glyph will be used for the rule evaluation. Let's inspect a larger dataset with rules constructed by analysts. Some phone conversations in the data do not have a buy or cancel event, indicating that they are still pending. To ease the analysis, let's first extract the complete phone conversations starting with an invite with the eventual occurrence of a buy or cancel. For the comparison and inspection of multivariate data and event collections, an attribute viewer is introduced, showing the frequency and distribution of attribute values within the current context. Selections of interests can be stored for future investigations. Saving a selection in a new context results in a new attribute that can be inspected using the attribute view. The context view maintains a history of all selections the analyst is interested in throughout exploration. By selecting the new context, we can focus on complete phone calls only. A second tab shows the attributes at the level of an event sequence, such as duration and length. Users can select and deselect bins in the histogram to exclude events that they are not interested in. Centered span sliders are used to enforce selections within particular value ranges. To gain better insight in sequences, user can sort sequences according to various metrics. Sorting sequences alphabetically shows a lot of repetition. Clustering enables users to study unique patterns. Sorting sequences by frequency shows the least or most frequent event patterns in the data. We can select event sequences of interest to study the differences in a dual view. The alignment view enables analysts to create an overview visualization of particular selections of interest. 
to inspect potential overlap between sequentially similar but structurally different sequences, analysts can apply multiple sequence alignment. This shows that almost all frequent patterns start with an invite and end with a buy. Parameters such as gap cost can be adjusted to inspect the resulting outcome. Alignments can also be reordered. Users can select blocks in the alignment to inspect events of interest. Inspection of the exclamation mark block shows that most users in this selection are either anonymous or unknown. To identify the source of the nested invite ACK pattern, users can partition the data according to a sequence attribute. This shows that conversations outside the Netherlands require more than one connection attempt. We can hide certain partitions using the plus and minus buttons. The nested patterns only occur in Dutch phone calls. To study the number of connection attempts in the traffic, we first create a rule grouping invite and ACK messages together. We ignore proxy servers by stating that in between the invite and ACK patterns, there is no invite message in between. Next, we filter on connection attempts to see that some phone calls require a large number of attempts. Close inspection of these long sequences show that these sequences contain rare event types, all coming from the same user, clearly illustrating that something fishy is going on. This concludes the presentation of EventPad, a novel exploration method to explore multivariate event sequences using rules, aggregations, and selections as central elements. Thanks for watching.